Last week, the number of new hospitalizations in New York was down. What did Governor Cuomo have to say about it? The number is down because we brought the number down. God did not do that. Fate did not do that. That is flagrant provocation of God. Reprehensible in the sight of God. Flagrantly provoking God. The lion is already on a rampage, and Cuomo is there provoking him even more. That is atrocious arrogance. You would think the man has a, a little bit of sense and get on his face before God and call his entire state to 2 Chronicles 7.14. You would think that he's got a little bit of sense and do a little bit of repentance. But no, provoke God even more. Just like Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel chapter 4, where Nebuchadnezzar in great pride said, look at all the kingdom, look what I have done. Like, God didn't do that, look what I have done. And God struck him down, and he became like an animal, eating grass, growing his nails long, I mean, drinking the dew off of the grass. He became like an animal until... He humbled himself and realized that heaven rules, that God is on his throne, that he doesn't have any power in himself to do anything without the power of God. Governor Cuomo, you have no power at all without God giving you that power. You don't even have the ability to think. You don't even have the ability to move without God giving you that power. And yet you boast against God in the middle of a pandemic? Are you out of your mind? No fear of God there. Oh no, no fear of God there. The scripture says the fear of the Lord is just the beginning of wisdom. <laughs> no fear of God there. No wisdom. Zip. Nada. Nothing. Like don't people learn? No, no, no. They're too proud. They got too much pride and arrogance. They love themselves. They love their sin too much. Learn from the scriptures. Learn from history. Look what happened to the Titanic. Captain Smith did exactly what Cuomo did. Boasted against God. Not even God can sink this ship. Look at the ship that we built. Not even God can sink this ship. God didn't like that. <laughs> He didn't like that. And Smith found out the hard way. I tell you something. I would not want to be around Cuomo even. I, I wouldn't want to be close to him at all at this point in time. Saying that kind of stuff, he is asking for it big time. The arrogance, the pride is outrageous. And just like I wouldn't want to be on the Titanic after the captain boasted against God, so I wouldn't want to be anywhere near Cuomo at this time. In fact, I would want to get out of New York if I could. I wouldn't want to be on that ship.